One of Rhiannon's later exploits set her sights to becoming a vegan influencer, where she would blog about her experiences. <laughs> we spent the weeks leading up to Christmas setting up her blog and researching meals and lifestyle. The blog was finally set up on New Year's Day and she released her first entry. <laughs> Rihanna celebrated such momentous achievements and change in her life by ordering a lemon chicken from a Chinese takeaway. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure the vegan community has welcomed you as warmly as you hoped. <laughs> The most common phrase I hear is you're punching. <laughs> To be fair, I really am. This included a trip to Preston a few months ago where we were walking down the road and a man actually walked past and said, you're punching, mate. Adam, I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. With my body, I honour you. With my body, I honour you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. And all that I have, I share with you. And all that I have, I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Although she's too old now to hold my hand, she'll always hold my heart. I'm incredibly pleased to have you as my daughter. I really am. But you're also my best friend too. And I feel very blessed to welcome Adam to our family and into our lives and thank him for the laughter and the happiness he brings to my daughter. I can still remember the night when Adam first told me about Rihanna. He said, he said, Gav, I've met someone. I said, that's a start. <laughs> Who the hell is taking on this responsibility? <laughs> Imagine my relief when I found out that Rhiannon is a specialist when it comes to working with young children. 